Hello everyone, welcome to the video on Drug Inspector Exam Preparation video series. In this video, I will explain about Health Education and Community Pharmacy syllabus and important topics and how to read them. Now, when you see the syllabus, there are four major important topics are there. One, communicable diseases. Now, in this, specifically certain diseases are mentioned in the syllabus. What are they? Chickenpox, Malaria, Pilaria, Tuberculosis, Leprosy, Sexually Transmitted Diseases and AIDS. Out of these things, what are you supposed to read is, what is the causative agent? Take for the case of tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is caused by Mycobacterium tubercule. What is the mode of transmission? How it is transmitted? Tuberculosis is transmitted when, when TB subject coughs, small water droplets comes from the mouth. And in that water droplet, that organism is there. When someone inhales the droplet, they get that tuberculosis. This is what is called as mode of transmission. What is the prevention? Prevention, quarantining the TB subjects are using masks, avoid contact with that person. That is what is prevention is. So these things you need to read in communicable diseases. Now, second topic is about first aid. First aid of shock, burns, fracture, poisoning and snake bite. Understand the topic. First aid means first help. Before getting before taking the subject to the hospital, what are the help you are going to do is called as first aid or first help. Take for the case of poisoning. If someone ingests poison, the first aid should be to take the poison out of the body or causing emesis. How can you cause emesis? By tingling the pharynx with a finger or using concentrated salt solution to drink them. When they drink concentrated salt solution, it causes natural emesis and the poison comes out of the body. Now, the next topic is about bacterial microbiology. In that classification, identification, staining techniques, bacterial growth and then nutritional requirement need to be studied. Now, understand the topic. Bacterial growth, you have a curve is there, lag phase, long phase and all of them. And coming to the nutritional requirement, see, you have microbiology experiments wherein you have agar plate experiments you might have carried out. In that agar plate experiments, you add meat broth some of the nutritional requirement all of them are considered as bacterial nutritional requirement and then staining gram staining acid fast bacteria all the staining techniques you need to read about them now the next topic is about immunology you need to read about antibodies antigens hypersensitivity monoclonal antibodies what do you mean by passive immunity active immunity all these topics need to be covered again the topic is health education and community pharmacy a diploma standard books will be enough to cover all these topics. All the best. Thank you for watching this video.